Hey everyone, it's Nightlight9. This is part two of my weapon series, and in this video, I'm gonna be going over Tifa's weapons. Tifa is a really interesting character in this game for me because her role, if you were a day one player or even sometime in the first couple of months player, her role has done a 180, and it's based on the weapons that have been available for her. So when she first came out, she was one of the best utility characters in the game. She had multiple ways to debuff, and that made her very useful for clearing content, especially if you were free to play. Uh, she could do things like Omni Strike with Leather Gloves that took a boss's physical attack down. She could do um, Upper Shot with Tiger Fangs to lower their magic attack. She also had uh, Chi Trap with Kaiser Knuckles to lower their magic defense. Like, that's what she excelled at. Uh, but over time, she got way more physical DPS weapons, physical DPS outfits, you know, way more Arcanums, etc. And I think now she is squarely in the role of a DPS who can still, you know, kind of flex to some of these utility things when necessary. I'm going to go over the weapons that I think are most important for her, whether it be as a main weapon or a sub weapon, and I'll kind of explain those as I go. Um, I'm just going to start here with Crystal Gloves. And... This is something that I don't ever really put in my main first slot, but makes it into the sub weapon list on many characters uh, quite often for me. And the number one reason is this boost HP plus 58. That is an insane amount of HP and anybody you put it on, if you're lacking HP for a battle, but you're low on slots, this is going to fix the majority of that problem a lot of the time. So for that, I think this weapon is great. Also as a lightning sub weapon, it's doubly great because you get all this HP and a pretty good lightning potency out of it. And so I do think that those are pretty good. It was the first weapon that I ob 10 out of any weapon, not because I wish listed it all the time, just because the game wanted to give it to me. Um, I do think Leather Gloves deserve a spot on my noteworthy list, mostly because anything that can give you a single hit um, decrease or debuff, you know, to something that is important like survivability, so physical attack decrease, is always good. Uh, the R ability physical defense is always interesting as well because you never know when it might play out. Although I wouldn't put this on a tier one list for Tifa at the moment, you know, somewhere around a tier two to three, I think. Uh, next, we'll go over Holy Flame Gloves. And I remember this was her, you know, Christmas outfit, 800% physical ice damage. That is where Tifa had shined for a long time. She was kind of like Cloud with the physical damage both non-elemental and elemental over time, but she started to get more and more magic stuff as we go, which makes her a little bit more versatile, but also a little bit harder to build for because you need more and more weapons at you know higher OB levels. But physical attack and ice potency, uh, these obviously go really well together. It's got a sigil boost, so everything you want here, and I do use this weapon quite often. Uh, the next one, and this is a more recent one, this was the Monster Hunter collab, here in Gloves, uh, you can, I'm going to show most of these weapons, by the way, at OB10, if I don't have it there. 940% magic lightning damage. That was huge. Uh, it still is huge. Uh, that's a very high percentage damage for a C ability that's doing elemental damage. Also, when your HP is 50% or more, increase your magic attack mid potency to self. Um, very, very solid weapon. Not one that you'll be able to use a voucher on, but... Just in the spirit of going through all the weapons, it is really good. Bunny Gloves, also, I would say good, but have it's been hard to find a good use for them at the moment because they made Ramu, you know, he's more susceptible to physical damage. And so this doesn't quite work out as well as you want. However, they're still a solid weapon. The R ability for water potency is quite low, but it's kind of made up for with the C ability. 850% magic water damage, which is still pretty good, and also increasing your own magic attack. It's only low potency every time, but if you're spamming this with a 35 second duration and a seven second extension, that adds up over time. And so I do think these are quite good. They also have a sigil boost like every good DPS weapon that you would want. Um, I would say Kaiser Knuckles is somewhat noteworthy, but definitely a tier three at best. Uh, Chi Trap is pretty good when you need it. However, I think there are way more ways over time to get there. And so I don't think this is a must have weapon by any means. Uh, guide Gloves. This is 
kind of like Zidane's sword was for Cloud. It didn't come out at the same time, but these are fantastic and still used by lots of people, whales and everybody else alike. 1300% physical non-elemental damage is nothing to scoff at. Uh, also, having a high physical ability potency makes this really good for a physical non-elemental damage build. The X Sigil boost is great. They threw in attack boost for fire. This is a tier one weapon and is something I would always try to get, although, again, it's limited, so you can't just pick that up easily. This was the first weapon, though, that came out for Tifa that I think started setting her apart as a DPS unit. Um, looking here at OB10, Amaran's Claws, 720% physical non-elemental damage, which is a little bit low for the power creep at this point. However, it's still it's still not bad. Um, but the physical attack increase, high potency to self, amazing, starting at OB6. And then also, as long as your HP is 50% or more, decreases magic. Now that part wasn't here when, it, when they first came out. This was added at the reawakened banner. So, but even just having these two things together was really, really strong when they came out. This also is a great sub weapon for physical damage dealers because it not only has physical ability potency, but HP. And the higher we take these DPS units, the more it, it gets kind of a little bit difficult to sometimes add in that HP and you do need some survivability. You can't have somebody that's, you know, doing ungodly amounts of damage, but only has 5k HP. And so something like this actually does come in handy. And uh, for those reasons, this is a great weapon. Moving along, we've got her uh, work gloves. This is a guild weapon and it's not bad. Uh, I've used it recently kind of extensively uh, in a crisis dungeon. The ATV boost is very awesome. And I think as a sub weapon, we'll give that maybe some play in certain areas later on, but uh, just kind of something to, to take note of. Tiger Fangs, I also think, is noteworthy. Uh, I use this weapon as much as probably any weapon on Tifa, if you looked at my entirety of play on her. And it's simply because this magic decrease, uh, potency high, I mean, that was something that got me through a lot of content. I do think that there are plenty of things now that are better than that. Uh, however, giving her the ability to flex, depending what you have in your account, is something that's, that's worth uh, noting. Other things that are pretty great, Feathered Gloves, I mean, at OB, even I think at OB6, but let's just say OB10, uh, Magic Defense decrease potency mid, and then also giving yourself a Water Damage increase potency high. Here as well with the Bunny Gloves, it's obviously, you know, I would say a tier one weapon for her. And I don't really think there's much else to say about that. Coming over to Shell Knuckles, this was a newer one, and that's one of the reasons I don't have it very high. 940% Magic Fire Damage, awesome. But then if you're above 70% HP, 1.2 times damage. That is top tier as far as elemental damage goes. And this is the current power creep where we are for a high level DPS weapon. It's magic based, which is obviously a little bit of a difference. You can see, I think it's only like the second weapon on the list that I've covered. That's a magic based weapon as opposed to physical, um, but it is great. It's got the sigil boost, everything you want. Uh, and it is something that I'm trying to get <laughs> big time. Um, I'll just kind of note lifeguard wraps because it is her AOE heal move. It's also only four ATB and everybody else's is five. That's that's kind of what set it apart. However, I never really had had it when it was still usable. And I'm not saying it's not usable anymore, but it's just not not something I would be trying to invest in. If I were going to pick the top weapons that I would be going for for Tifa with vouchers or something like that, I would probably be looking at my account really closely because it's really going to depend on what role you need Tifa to fill, how you want to build her in the future, and what your weaknesses are in your account or with Tifa. And so I would be primarily probably starting with stuff like Holy Flame Gloves, uh, Crystal Gloves, because I think any weapon that's a sub weapon is going to have a lot of value too, again, based on your account and what you need. Um, if it wasn't one of those, I would consider something like Tiger Fangs or Leather Gloves, but I wouldn't feel quite as good about it. I would also consider something like Power Soul, but I think, again, all of those other than these two are probably like tier two picks for me. And I'm trying to remember if there's any other ones that came out before April 29th, 
Um, if if feathered gloves and bunny gloves are in there, then I would definitely put that on the list high, like as high or higher than these two. But I think those are the four weapons I would go for. And again, I just can't quite remember when the bunny gloves came out. Um, so that's what I'd be looking at for Tifa. And that's gonna wrap up this video.